This is Eric from Pack Hacker, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Packed the Anywhere 5 liter sling, which I've been testing for the past two weeks. Let's dive in. So kicking things off with the exterior material here, we've got a 900D RPET, which is a recycled polyester, which is awesome to see some sustainability from PACT here. But the material overall, I think, performs very well. It's not super thick, which is you know crazy for a 900D material, but it does feel like it has that durability and just feels like it's going to last, which is important, especially for a recycled material. It's got a DWR coating, which I was able to test when it got, um, it rained on my way home from work one day. I had this on the exterior of the packed duffel I was testing. In, in light rain, it was fine. I did run it under the sink once just to see how it did in kind of more submersion type situation. And uh, the gear or the inside of the material got wet pretty quick under a sink, obviously. So you're going to get good um, water resistance in light rain, but if it starts pouring, you might want to head for cover. But the exterior of this pack has quite a bit going on, so we'll dive into that. We've got this little strap here on the front, which is a nice kind of like design thing because it looks very nice. It kind of splits up this, um, the front of the pack here. And it's also nice because you can attach things to this. So if you want to throw a carabiner on here, or even if you want to put some pins on here to decorate the front of the pack, you can do that. So definitely some function and also some design aspect to it as well. I often found myself just grabbing the sling like that. Um, obviously it's got a handle here which works uh, just as well as you think it would, but this is often how I had it sitting on the ground. So if I was getting ready to go, I would just grab it and go with that. And it has enough durability to handle that. So moving to the sides here, we've got these two little side um, straps. One has the packed logo right here, which I think is very subtle, and that's the only place it is visible on the exterior of the pack. And that's another place where you can just grab the sling and go, but that's actually for use with the uh, duffel, the Anywhere duffel bag, which I've also been testing and had on the floor next to me. So to show you what that's used for is we obviously have these two straps here. This goes on top of the duffel, and then you feed the straps through here. And then you can use the button on the top of the strap to attach that. So now this is kind of attached on here. Let me turn it so you can see a little bit better. So that way it's not coming off and you can just carry the duffel and not have to worry about the sling. I'll kind of explain why that's a good feature as I take it off here. So if you're at the airport or something, you're going to the airport and you're just like sitting in a cab or you're on a bus or something, you don't necessarily need to have your sling on and be holding your bag at the same time because you're not really gonna be accessing your sling while you're holding your bag. So you can kind of just carry it all at once while you're going and then when you need to check your bag or stow the duffel in the overhead compartment, you just take this off, you have it loaded with all your stuff and you go. So I really do like the inclusion of that, especially because it doesn't really get in the way of anything. But moving on to the back panel here, the, sh the um, strap tucks away and hides away here, which I think is a nice inclusion, especially for when you integrate it into the duffel, like I just showed you. And then it comes across here. We have a um, Duraflex buckle here, kind of a triangle that attaches onto this little black loop here. So this loops nice because it's not really angled one way or the other. So it can sit this way. It can sit this way. It can really sit any way you want it to, which makes it more comfortable when you are wearing it. So if you look into the full review or in the beginning of the video where we showed the side-by-side, -side, um, it really is good for any body type because of this because it can just it can sit any way you want it to. So if you want to wear it on your front, it'll sit correctly. If you want to wear it on your back, it'll sit correctly. If you want to wear it over this shoulder, this shoulder, that shoulder, it'll you know adjust to how you need it to. So I think that that is a nice inclusion and also having just the one clip, not two clips, so you can stow it away is nice as well. There isn't a ton of padding on this back panel here. It's really just the, um, the material on top of the material, if that makes sense. There's not like, a, I mean, maybe there's a little bit of padding in there, but really not much. But it is comfortable because there is a, a fair amount of material between you and the inside of the pack because you have both sides of this and then you have the, um, the 
pack, the back of the pack leading into the inside of the pack. So there is a fair amount of material and pretty comfortable, but I'll stow that away just so it's out of the way before we head inside the pack. So I'm actually going to jump into the main compartment before the front compartment, and you'll see why in just a little bit. But on my most recent trip, I actually used this to stow my GoPro gear because um, I like going on hikes and stuff like that and bringing all my GoPro gear because you'll never know what you'll need and when you'll need it. So as you can see, the main compartment here is pretty amply sized. I have a fair amount of gear in there. For five liters, you can fit a good amount of stuff. So I've got a little mini tripod, my chesty mount, and then the floaty handler. I'm not sure the exact name of it, but this floats. And that's what I had in the main compartment. And as you can see, there was a bit of spare space there. There is quite a bit of space here. It is, there is a fair amount of organization on the sides, as you can see. So on this side, we have a zippered compartment, which this is an unbranded zipper. All the zips on the outside are YKK, but this one's unbranded. No issues with it, but just wanted to note that. And in here, you can still see what's on the inside, which I think is nice. So like if you put your phone in there, you can still see notifications or you like, if you're a worry wart and you're like, did I bring my wallet? You can just look real quick and see that it's there. But right now I've just got my actual GoPro in there and a couple batteries. That is the only other place that we see the pack logo on the entire sling. So it does take up a little bit of the mesh space here, but you can still see through it very easily. I should note that this mesh is not uh, stretchy. It's very rigid. So it's not really going to stretch to accept more gear but I didn't have any issues with not being able to fit uh, everything in there. And there also is a key ring in here. And as you can see, it does come out, it reaches out of the sling. So you don't necessarily have to take your keys off to open your hotel, Airbnb, or your apartment key, your apartment door. So you can just reach, reach it out and open your stuff and put it back inside. It is a metal little clip, which is nice, very durable, snappy and easy to use. I, I'm a big fan of this clip just because of the ease of use. You don't have to like, um, loop the circles onto each other like some do. We'll close that up and move over to the other side. On this side, we've got a couple of pockets. We've got these two front pockets here. This one is obviously mesh and then with a little bit of elastic on the top. I've just got my charger in there. I like leaving that in there so it, I can see that it's there, but also the elastic top will keep it from bouncing around. And then on this side, this is a magnetic closure here. The magnets are pretty small, but they do a good job and they don't really get in your way, which I like. And inside there, I've just got a couple of accessories. And as I said, the, the magnets I think are, are well suited for this pocket. A lot of times I don't like magnets just because I feel like they get in my way. And I did not feel that that was the case with either of these. Uh, both these pockets are about the same size, I think. Um, maybe this gives you a little bit more space because of the elastic on the top, but Overall, without any stretch, they are the same size. And then just behind those pockets, we have another magnetic closure. And these magnets are a little bit bigger than the magnets here. You can just see the size difference. Those are like a little rectangle. And this is a big circle. But this one has a, a, lot, a little bit more snappy and they are a bit bigger so you can feel them when you open it. But again, they don't really get in your way. And then here right now, I just have my phone and a little um, dongle, a, an anchor dongle for my computer. But the back panel, or the back pocket, I should say here, has a, you know, ample space. It runs the full back panel of the bag. And that magnetic closure makes sure that nothing's really flying out. I do like that it has a magnetic closure, but obviously there's still areas for gear to pop out if, um, you know, there was turbulence or something like that. So if you really want to keep gear locked down, just throw it on the side with the zippered pocket. And then above that, we do have this little pen holder. Uh, works as you'd expect it to. It does have access from both sides. So if that, you know, gets clicked, you might end up with some pen marks inside your sling. But we'll close that up for now and move to the front pocket here. So the reason I went main compartment first is because I had it stuffed full of things. And the, my main use for this front pocket was for a water bottle. And with all the stuff I had in there, I wasn't going to be able to fit a water bottle inside because it was so full. So most of the time I didn't have all my GoPro gear in there. I just had my daily use stuff, which wasn't as full. So you're able to fit a water bottle inside there. And this is a, you know, a pretty big water bottle. Sorry if you can see me stowing it in there. It's a little bit off on the camera. 
Uh, but this is a 18 ounce hydro flask. I was able to actually fit a 20 ounce hydro flask in there as well. So long as it's like a flat top and like more of a short and stocky bottle. A taller bottle is not like, as you can see, it kind of is almost reaching the end of the track here. So a taller bottle is not going to be able to sneak inside there. But being able to fit, you know, a full size water bottle in the front pocket is ideal. And it really doesn't look that much bigger than it did before and doesn't, you know, take away any of the comfort of the bag because it is on the front. So being able to do that is a big plus for me because I like to bring a water bottle. Um, I wish I could, you know, bring my big bottle, but you can't always do that, obviously. But other than that, the front compartment is, you know, it's basically a big open space. It runs the entire width and height of the sling. So you can fit a lot of gear in there. And even if you do put your bottle in there, you can stack more gear on top of it. But no issues with any of the zips or the hardware on this thing. And I do think it has a nice look. Even when it's empty right now, it is a little bit, you know, compressed in. But I think it has a, a nice look for the most part whenever you, whatever, for whatever you have in it. Sorry, stumbling over my words there a little bit. And there are a couple nice colorways available. If you check the packed site, you can see what they have available. So there you have it. The Packed the Anywhere 5-liter slang. Thanks for keeping it here at Pack Hacker, your guide to smarter travel. We'll see you in the next one.